everyone. Welcome back to Nails Before Films. Today we'll be continuing from the theme from last time. That's right. We'll be looking at the original Predator, which came out in 1987. Unfortunately, as I said in my last video, I've only watched the first movie. I would love to see Alien vs. Predator. It seems like a super fun movie. But like I said before, I have a personal thing of watching everything in order. So I'll have to watch Aliens, Alien 3, Alien Resurrection, and Predator 2 before watching Alien vs. Predator. I know you don't have to, but I'm very paranoid. So if I don't do that, I'll be worried that I'll miss something. Again, I'll definitely finish all of the movie someday, just not today. Anyway, let's go through the plot of Predator first. Dutch, a Vietnam veteran, and his rescue team travel with a CIA agent, Dylan, to South America to rescue a cabinet minister. However, they find three soldiers who were there first, and they were brutally killed and skinned. After killing the rebels, whom they assumed killed the soldiers, Dutch discovers that they've been lied to, and the mission is not to rescue hostages, but to stop an invasion. They end up taking the souls surviving gorilla Anna to their extraction point. However, along the way, two of their team members are killed, and they realize they've been hunted by an invisible creature. They capture the creature momentarily, but it escapes and kills everyone except Dutch and Anna. Dutch realizes the creature doesn't attack unarmed individuals, so he tells Anna to get to the chapa. Sorry, I can't do imitations. Dutch then finds out that Mud can hide his body temperature from the creature, so after evading it, he craps traps to kill it. After a long fight, Dutch severely injures the creature, which is then revealed to be an alien that comes to Earth to hunt. The alien then self-destructs. Dutch manages to escape in time and is later rescued by the chopper, with Anna already safely on board. Now let's talk about the movie. I absolutely love it. I have mostly watched three types of movies, action, horror, and animation. This movie alone has two of them, or all of them if you count the animated special effects, uh, which is amazing. My first thought after I finished the movie was, um, is this a horror film or an 80s action movie? Uh, but then I realized both are awesome, so it doesn't matter. Of course, the movie isn't perfect. The cloaking effect of the jungle hunter is not good, and the gorilla massacre is a bit excessive, but everything else is just so brutally entertaining. I don't even mind the two things I just mentioned that much. It's the 80s. I've seen worse special effects from that era. And while the last than ideal cloaking effect did undermine the intimidation of the predator, they made up for it with the awesome mask, suit, and the amazing unmasking thing. As for the gorilla massacre, like I said, it's excessive and kind of annoying. You just see a bunch of close shots, people in the air from getting shots, random explosions, random firing. It gets old really fast and the thing went on for way too long, in my opinion. But when taking the whole movie into consideration, I love how that scene misleads us to believe that the team will fight the alien with their guns and grenades. But in the end, Dutch defeats it with primitive traps and weapons. I love that contrast and it really shows us what our protagonist is made of. Even without his weapons and facing an opponent with severely more advanced technology, Dutch finds a way to defeat the predator with his experience, his brain, his resourcefulness, his adaptability, his courage, and his determination. I might be thirsting over him a bit too much here, but I just love a well-written, confident character. He doesn't figure everything out right away, but by paying close attention to his surroundings and what's happening, he can come up with a plan on the spot. Which is what you'd expect from an experienced soldier, especially a team leader. This leads me to my next point. I actually didn't like the plot of Dodge and his team being fooled into taking the mission at first. I didn't fully understand the point. Wouldn't it be the same if the mission was indeed to rescue someone? But after thinking more about it, it does make sense. 
By having them、uh, deceived by the government, they immediately become paranoid since the situation is no longer what they're prepared for. Which makes an invisible enemy even more effective. They have no idea what could be out there, and for all they know, there could be information that they don't know. And while everyone else is killed except Dutch and Anna, I don't think the team was incompetent. They did what they could against a foe they couldn't see, and the creature was much more advanced and equipped than they were. I wouldn't call the rest of the team likable, but at least they seem like soldiers who were good at their jobs. Next, let's talk about what I love about the movie the most, which is of course the jungle hunter and the gore. Honestly, these two things are why the movie can be considered as horror. While some of the kills are off-screen or just kind of lame,、uh, the scene of the skinned soldiers is just delightfully gruesome. It really shows us how ruthless and merciless the predator is. Humans are simply its trophy, waiting to be hunted and collected. I love the idea of aliens just hunting humans as sports. It's chilling and surprisingly simple. The team was expecting a fight with gorillas,、uh, part of their mission and the ongoing war. Yet the thing hunting them could be just doing it for fun. It's cruel and twisted. I love it. I also like how the predator has standards and doesn't attack unarmed civilians. Making the hunt more like a challenge instead of a massacre. Of course, it's still extremely unfair for the hunted, but at least it doesn't just kill everything like xenomorphs. Also, I love the unmasked predator so much. When Dutch said, "You're one ugly mother lover," I immediately went, "Hey, I think it's hot. Shut up!" I honestly like that design so much. Guess I should add. Monster fetish to my list of kinks, along with clown fetish. Overall, I had a lot of fun watching Predator, even though I thought I consider it to be more of a science fiction action movie than horror. The action is great. I love the fight at the end, and it doesn't hurt when there are so many hot, muscular men glistening in sweat. I've heard that Predator was a pain in the ass to shoot, but despite the difficulties, it turned out to be one of the most memorable action movies of all time. Great job, everyone who worked on the film. It really shows that even under stressful, difficult situations, people can still produce quality work if they put their minds to it and work together. It's amazing. Anyway, hope you guys like my jungle hunter nail. As always, like, subscribe, comment, share, do what you want. Keep nailing it and stick around, people.